Like his corner pressure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, his disadvantage is still like kind of bad. Like, like he he's been mashing out a hit stun like like he usually does, but I don't know. Anyways, game one. Let's find his way out. Gonna get the DP. Very nice Good call. Makes it through the laser yeah. as well. Ooh, uh, he he definitely yeah. could have got a shield guard there. That's why he went for the, like the preemptive up B. Yeah. Uh, he's been doing that a little too much against still though. He pretty much lost the last set for it. Yeah, so. winner's semis he got a smash. Yeah, twice. Okay. Nice down tilt. Just making great use of the shield pressure. He's gonna get the ledge mix up or not. Eric just swipes it away. Yeah, he was trying to set up the gyro, but the up hitbox through stage just like messed it up. Oh, and apparently hard laser does like 20 plus damage. Yeah, like, hard Joe was literally insane. telling telling me about it. Hard laser hits hard. Yeah, dude. and like hard. apparently in winners, uh, when Dill did that side B versus Allen game two, he meant to do B versus hard laser and it would have broke the shield. That's intense. Yeah, yeah. but he's gonna he's gonna find that uh, down throw up smash. Uh, Eric not able to mash out, probably too high of a percent, and now Dill has a lead. Yeah, and I'd say Dill is one of the best players with a lead in, in like the state. He Honestly, plays so annoying. Like, yeah, it's incredibly hard to get in on him to begin with. When you are pressured to get in on him, it's a yeah. whole different story. But I feel like Eric, he he's pretty good at like just like ignoring like everything behind him and just like playing his game like okay I'm behind but like if I play a patient I'll get the stock and not take like too much damage. Yeah exactly. He's not really concerned with anything but the W. He's just scouting. Yeah. Okay. Nice up. Backer yeah. would have killed but Yeah I was gonna say that definitely could have been a backer. Yeah. Alright. And Dill just like he's just poking at him. Like he's doing a lot of safe like retreating nares. Like his drifts are not never like going towards the middle. Yeah. He's just spacing him out really. Yeah. Oh, and that was yeah. a great gyro. That's gonna result in the stock. Doesn't even need the meaty diner. Yeah. Even with air dodge jump, he did make it. Yeah. And that's a really good thing that Dill does when people are on the respawn platform. He throws the gyro up and then he waits like till it's coming down and rolls past it. Like if you come into the corner there, like he just gets on stage for free. Yeah. Pretty dope. So he puts him in the corner, making a lot of use of that robo boost back onto the map. Um, ooh, nice movement makes yeah. coming out. Very tricky. I was gonna say that was really tricky movement. And ooh, finds the F smash. He yeah. jumped backwards, unfortunate. Yeah, I was gonna say before that, like neutral has been like he might I'd say like kinda evenish, but like Eric hasn't like pushed his advantage hard. Yeah. He's like Dill's getting like down tilts and stuff. Yeah, Dill's been mashing back at him so, so well. He's finding crazy nares, crazy bears out of pressure and just turning everything back around. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Up Almost till. off the standing gyro. Some Diddy Chrome pressure. Okay, I'm not sure if I'll tell upper is true off the, the grab, but he's been missing it a lot. Alright, this is a really good position for Dill to take the game. Good delay by Eric. Making sure he doesn't get two frame, but how's he gonna run this back? Nice, finding good hover. He's kinda staying over his buttons, realize he wants to swing grounded and gets a nice check on the laser. Yeah, this is a big position for Eric right now. Ooh. He wanted to catch him shielding for too long. That was his only overcommitment and it wasn't even that bad. Still resulted yeah. on just finding himself in the other corner. It was his win condition too, so it was just like, why not? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, doesn't manage to hit that laser, unfortunately. Just miss spaces. Okay, fares the gyro away. That would have been a really good spot for Dill. Works his way around. Doesn't get two frame. Does get down tilted. Okay. Yeah. Dill with a lot of great conditioning in the corner. Yeah. He Jump did. was the only thing he didn't punish, pretty much. The yeah, time. he did like preemptive down air. Then he did a preemptive back air before he even picked the ledge option. And he was like, okay, I reset to a roll position. And then I just ran up under you and did up air. Like right here, preemptive down air. Yeah, down air can, and then back he gets air. the back air. That back air is tricky too, because he's been getting caught for rolling there and neutral get yeah. up there a lot. And I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that he'd also get me yeah. for get up attack. So his only option really was jump, but he delayed for too long and Dill got the reaction. Yeah, and it was honestly like a pretty tricky spot. Like obviously people were like, oh, he could have not used his double jump there, but it's like, 
still was putting on like so much corner pressure there. Yeah. He really just had to get out of there. Uh, I believe he should have committed to the up tilt there. I think he'll have an easier time anti-airing Rob there. Yeah, if he overshot it a little bit, he definitely would have had it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Neutral air dodge is... It has, like, only, like, 10 frames of lag, I think, right? Yeah, it's, like, so 10 or 11. Yeah. so low. Yeah, so Eric going to use it there, get under, and use up tilt. And Eric's now we're back to neutral. Great, great cross-ups with these up airs. Yeah. And honestly, he just uses it to mix up parry timings too. Like, mixing up like uh, falling fair and falling up air, it's different timing. So if you're trying to parry, then you're gonna get falling up air, and that's a big combo start for Lucina. Yeah, exactly, and you're taking a lot, and it's the positioning is just so good for her. Getting juggled is so yeah. harsh, especially as a character as big as Rob. Yeah. But Dill's been finding his way out of disadvantage in fantastic spots. He is gonna get the up tilt. Is he gonna steal it out? Not this time. Good fastball neutral air dodge. Yeah. Making okay. sure not to miss input down air dodge. Yeah, for sure. Nice, gets wow. the top of the nair. Is that part like stronger? Because the first nair didn't send him anywhere. I think it's just where he was, honestly. Okay, and he yeah. was trying to drift in as well, so he DI'd it super poorly. Ooh, nice parry from her. Yeah, I thought we were going to see an up B. He likes to do parry into DP there. Nice, realizing he can't take too much advantage because he didn't get the contact freeze. Nice down tilt. Good trip, too. Recognition. Right. Dill's in a really good spot right now. He just needs to play it safe and basically realize how he's not going to lose the stock right now. He got a lot of damage. Nice. Looks for the up throw with the Oki instead and finds it. It's not going to net him the stock, though. Nice. Good back here. Yeah. And that's the tricky part about Eric. It looks like he's full committing to his drift. So it, it looks like his fair is going to be in grab range, but then he drifts back like last second and then punishes your with grab of the back air. Yeah, it's really nice. And honestly, just that slight mix up with his spacing has been catching Dill in a lot of bad spots because Rob's trap is terrible. Yeah. Uh, he yeah, we saw it versus at, Alan. That's like, so bad. Okay. Oh, wow. Gyro shield not safe. And that was a big stock for Eric, I'd say, like, mentally. Because, yeah. like, now he feels like he can actually like bring this match back. Yeah, absolutely. And a map like Smashville, honestly, if he F smashes even Rob at 65, 70%, yeah. he's dead. He's yeah. dead. In the corner, it's over. Hey, gyro pressure. Nice. Good mix up on the ledge. Finds the pit cancel F tilt as well. Okay. Not committing to a punish there on that nair. And that nice. edge guard. Back here. Yeah. Seals it out. The rage bear. Ooh. What do you think Dill does here? Yeah. Um, I, I'd say he just like plays pretty patient, like zones him out, like sets up his gyro, tries to like sandwich Eric in the middle of his gyro and him, but he gets the grab there and yeah. does the stock. Great stuff on his arm. Yeah. And this game's pretty much even. Eric doing a really good job that uh, second stock conditioning him to think like he was going to ledge trap, but then just go for a deep back here. Yeah. It's good to mix it up versus Rob because if you start edge guarding too much, he's gonna go for a lot of preemptive swings, and he has good yeah. coverage. But All right, off the ledge trap instead, he has a hard time. Ooh, parry into out tilt. That's big for Eric. Another oh, one. Gets another one. Yep. Yeah. And something as reactable as Rob's nair, you want to get those parries uh, while you can, especially if he has no double jump. Like he's either gonna neutral air dodge or do that nair. Eric playing the ledge incredibly well, too, respecting the robo boost and keeping him yeah. in the corner. The shield is low enough that he'll find the poke if he needs to. Yeah. That jump hard laser onto Sage was really good from Dill. That hard laser is safe on block, so it was a pretty good way of getting back on stage. All right, one good backer can seal out the game for Eric. We might see a trump really soon. Finds the F, so grabs the other way. Quite unfortunate. Yeah. All right. Get up attack, gonna get the pressure off of him. Oh, that's not good, man. Yeah. He's been dying for that so much versus still gets the frame under tangibility though. Yeah. That's IB would have been it. Yeah. Oh, doesn't read the roll in. Dill has all the stage control. Nice tech from Dill. Does yeah. he have the fuel to make it back? He's gonna robo boost. Yeah. Gyro toss. I yeah. like it a lot. And one up throw will do it here. But one grab from Dill might be the end. Down throw to up smash. Down throw to up air. That's definitely it. Yeah, yeah and too much rage. DI as well. Yeah, good stuff by Dill, honestly. Yeah. Eric wasn't as composed as he could have been at the end. Like he was, he was really whiffing a lot. Like, yeah, that yeah. up smash just there was no reason. Yeah. Actually, the same exact 
way he lost the winner set. That's actually pretty trippy. Yeah, he just kind of up smashed at nothing and Dill found yeah, the punish. Yeah, and like the random up -ease and stuff too. Yeah, he's got to be super careful. And I understand why he's going for it, but he's conditioning shield so, so hard. And Rob yeah. has no out of shield options. Just snatch him up. Yeah. Him up. I feel like. Spot yeah, I feel like his, his up -ease were fine. It's just like you really have to weigh the risk reward. Yeah. Like, like, especially if you're at kill percent, like, if it's not a guaranteed punish, I wouldn't go for it. Like, he's already shown that he's pretty good at parrying the Nair. So, like, you know, you, you don't need to, like, like do a bunch of hard punishes. Yeah. When, when, especially if you're unsure, too. 